Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as Venice. And in this episode, um, we are responding to the Genoese invasion of our lands by invading their lands. So we're going to capture Genoa and then capture uh, Bastia and Corsica and destroy the Genoese faction. So let's get cracking. And they do have a couple of mortars to worry about. But we've got plenty of howitzers, so we are relying on howitzers to make the initial breaches in the walls. But that's okay. We will be able to clear out the city with quicklime, then march on in and take them out. In, in both cases, we're not going to be able to uh, repair the government buildings, so we may have to resort to exempting them from tax temporarily while we bring the city under our control. And then one of these armies will go back to uh, Venice to act as a bit of a garrison, just in case anybody gets any crazy ideas and to protect it against um, attacks from the west or the north, just in case they develop. And then the others will, the other will remain in position at sea. Sorry about that. Um, right. Drop all the howitzers together. I need to play this a, a bit carefully, so my conscripts are going to man, going to cover the first wall, or the, the wall facing us. So once we make a breach, they're going to cover it to prevent the enemy from sallying. Detachment of three infantry are going to push around one flank. The detachment of three infantry are going to... I don't know if they can all sit here. Is this hidden? It is hidden. Very risky. It's a bit risky because we could end up with enemy mortars um, pushing up. Actually, in which case, I probably want you guys to focus on the left. Although pushing in from this direction might be the safest. Unit of Marines to hold. And we've got some allies. I didn't even check for allies. I was so zoned in. Savoy. That's right. Savoy are nearby and there are allies. So a couple of our howitzers are going to start clearing out the centre. Let's actually break them up. This unit start making a hole. Garrison crews, the mortar garrison crews are running around. So you bring, are you just going to suspect they're just going to run straight in and attack the city? They don't even have bayonets. Well, I suppose they don't have a way of researching them. But typically, a unit in a faction in Empire will be able to use a technology that uh, the rest of the world has discovered. Great. So you focus on that one mortar crew. The others work on this section right here. 13%. That's the damage we've done so far. You're gonna kill some friendly cavalry. Awesome. We'll make our breach. If one of these gunners can wipe out that one crewman, <laughs> that'd be pretty awesome. No, we might have missed it. Shell's coming in. Got him. That's one mortar crew wiped out. Let's focus fire on that other mortar crew. Because they're now starting to engage. Got oh, a lot of mortar shells landed on that cluster of units.
Sorry, all of you might temporarily attack the wall just to give these guys something to aim for rather than just running to scale the wall in its entirety. Like these guys are probably going to try and climb the wall. That's probably not going to work. So we need to start doing some damage. Because they're quite nicely quite nicely packed together. So these Savoy troops are likely in deep stuck. Yeah, they're already wavering. Moving forward. A couple of casualties. Excellent. So we've killed a lot of troops that were attempting to climb down the wall. That's a lot of dead Savoyard troops. Probably behooves me to advance my own infantry forward. You men move up to the woods. Especially the they're, they're already firing. There we go. We got a breach. So let's. We don't want to focus. We don't want to concentrate our artillery fire on the center. We don't want the enemy to do too well. Here we are, at a point where we probably have to get involved. Actually, we probably want to attack that section of the wall there. Yeah, Savoy have committed. One of you scale the wall, one of you cover the wall, you men scale here, you men scale here. See, there we go. So the Savoy have re retreated. Come on, howitzers, engage that section of wall. Now we are probably going to want to start dropping some quicklime shells down. Let's protect the assault. Scale the walls. You men scale that section. These units all line up behind them, ready to push in. Look at all those troops. Quick climb, ahoy. There we go. I'm starting to engage them with musketry. First unit of infantry has pushed outside of the city. The enemy are responding to our attacks. Our advances. There we go. Okay. Provincial cav are pushing out. But that's not a problem. They're going to try and push out of the gate to stop us, but that's not going to work. There you go, we've captured the gatehouse. Want these men to capture the fire steps, they can just shoot down onto the enemy. Let's maybe push a couple of units up onto the wall. A lot of quick line. General's bodyguards pushing forward for the Savoyard. 
We're just going to let our units gather on the wall. We're not going to attack anywhere yet. So these guys were pushing up. But we're going to just let our troops mass. Because they're manning all... Because they're, ca they're using all of the... Um, the rope. They should get up there quite rapidly. Genoese troops are still routing. The armed citizenry have pushed out. We've captured this position. Get our marines in. Get an infantry unit to man the gate. Well, to, to occupy the command HQ. Okay, let's start to push our infantry units. Let's push our infantry units up, but in a way that suits our purposes. Excellent. The human position like so. This infantry unit charged down and attacked the armed citizenry. There we go. To be honest, get my marines to engage the militia. 115th are on the walls, firing down into the centre. Conscripts push in. You men are in trouble until more conscripts arrive from the rear to help out. Let's get you men off the walls as well. Oh, that's a big quick climb hit coming in. Okay, let's switch my howitzers to round shot and just engage this, the 8th regiment. Danger close, quick climb kicking in. So we're starting to get some lag because we've got a lot of troops in the centre or in the. Well, yeah, they are in the centre. Oh, you guys had orders to attack. Now you're, you've just gone in a straight line. You're going to go up here and join these conscripts. Fair enough. Get up here. Shoot the men on the centre. Just clear it out. Clear it out with gunfire. Then we'll send units to occupy it. Now chasing off the troops that have routed. That's quite nice of you. Push forward. So you, you men are going to line up. Their general's one of these, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Let's hope the 119th can actually engage. It's the weirdest thing. Well, I'm not getting any sound effects. There you go. Just the general left. The hell of a crossfire. It's remarkable that he's managed to survive this long. He's only wavering as well. There we go. Awesome. You get involved in the fighting. You men garrison the centre. Infantry push up. The only spare Genoese infantry unit that's not engaged. You're running around. Awesome. We're holding... Holding the center. My marines are still sat right at the back. They've not done anything. Not that it's going to really matter. It looks like victory will be ours. Although it looks like the enemy might have broken. Yep, they have. They have collapsed. We've applied enough pressure in all directions. They've just broken. Excellent.
So that is their capital captured. That's quite nice. So now we just have to take the territory to the south. So yeah, they hate us. Not that badly, though. I'm still going to exempt them from tax just to make the transition a little easier. Then we've got down here in Bastia. So Orlando Sabatini. Let's attack the city. So, of course, because we're not producing much money, but I'm hoping our advanced knowledge of science and technology and our enlightened ideals will cause the city to grow and become a, a generator of wealth for our empire, as well as providing a useful base of operations for naval operations in the Western Mediterranean. But let's keep going. Yeah, once we take this, take this faction, it'll deal with the um, Genoan threat. It's another faction knocked out of the game. Oh, bugged artillery. Awesome. Still. Lob shells from a distance. My line infantry I want out in the open ground. Grenadiers on my African infantry guards can screen the town. Native African infantry stay out on the flank with the bulk of my cavalry. One heavy cavalry unit. Well, I suppose really more of a light cavalry job. Push around the right flank. How it says, just engage as you see fit. The enemy is not a is not a technically advanced uh, force. So you men are going to push forward rapidly, like so. I might actually bring a one of my cuirassier over on the right. My howitzers are going to engage as they see fit. Clear advantage here to push around the left flank and wrap them up. Push forward at speed. Let's target units to our front with the infantry with my existing artillery getting my howitzers. Ooh, particularly get to work on that pike unit. Provincial curve is getting ready to charge. Drop into square with my grenadiers. The centre of their line is going to break quite quickly, but we're just going to hold. Grenadiers push back to here. I mean, if you chance it, if you want to, get my cuirassier in. Enemy provincial cav is under fire. Not very good cavalry, this. I'm happy to let it hit my line. Yeah, they're getting sh their horses shot out from under them. Combine my cavalry. Their elements that were flanking have decided to fall back towards the centre. Provincial cav is routing but isn't broken, so it could come back. Okay, you men just engage as you like. Broken, 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 broken. Okay, let's push the right flank forward. Squeeze the enemy into a position where they're not able to deploy in the manner they would like. Advance this line, push the cuirassier up. Some reinforcements are coming in. I 
punch up towards the general's bodyguard. The unit of provincial cavalry has recovered. Go an African infantry guard, give them a volley. Excellent. Nice. Oh, see? That's what happens. Quite why their cavalry decides to rout out through our line. It's so frustrating. Let them hit the back of our line. Okay, you have to steamboat into that union of conscripts. They're both still alive. We've got one crew on each. Go on, General. Apparently they're winning decisively. They are riding high from their previous engagement. In my right flank. Push up. Pokemon are just getting gunned down. They look great though. Okay, let's combine them both together to bash into this unit of conscripts. See if we can hide up the right flank a bit. Push forward to the point where these men can start bayonet charging units on the right flank. We're still holding them up. You've only lost nine cavalrymen, which is pretty nice. Engaging the militia, but our strength is on. Now the reinforcements are coming in from the left, our strength is on the right. Let's commit so we can shut the door on where the reinforcements are coming in from. can shatter the conscripts that'd be super they're shattered good get out of the way go after the conscripts light cavalry to get you out of that engagement Slam this flank shut. There you go. Light cavalry hit the conscripts. Curious the air just shatter the, shatter the enemy infantry. Awesome. Artillery engage the militia. Should really kill a good number of them there. Shattered, awesome. Everybody push forward. General advance right up into their faces. Across the air, smash into the seventh regiment.
Bearing in charge of the last of the conscripts. African infantry guard. I've got quite pummeled in this one, actually. Okay, this is all a bit unnecessary to focus on the 15th. Excellent. Everybody except the general advance here. Artillery cease fire. Everybody else. Well, no, artillery keep engaging the general's bodyguard. units support the attack against the conscripts. Artillery start to try and engage the enemy general. See if you can tag the general. And on the 38th they're chasing them down. Bayonets raised. Cease fire the artillery. Mob the general. See if we can kill ourselves, Genoese noblemen. Kill this rebellious swine. Although he didn't really rebel. He kind of did. We are the true Italians! Nice. Very nice. Okay, so that's Genoa dealt with. We haven't got anything to worry about from them anymore. Boop. Nice. We can't do anything about the city. We can't do anything about the infantry. Um, but this army and navy is gone. Which is sweet. So our infantry is still ever so slowly um, squeezing Moscow because that's what we want to do um, ideally we want you guys to push up towards Archangels and you can do that while you're replenishing we can tax this region well enough without causing too many problems Catholicism is growing Kazan is Catholicism is growing but a bit slower but there isn't anything else we can do, so let's hit and turn, I think. The Russians are scampering around here. Could, well, we can't do anything with Königsberg, even if we take it. So, yeah, apart from that, let's hit and turn. We've got a lot of cities to uh, bring into the fold. So right now, not having a major conflict to deal with is actually quite useful. I was going to say, don't you try it, Spain. I'm hoping Russia starts suffering from quite a significant um, financial struggle. That's right. Continue to weaken yourselves against Sweden. <gasps> Oof. That's awfully close. Okay, you probably need to push that Russian army away from Warsaw. 13 colonies... Continuing to pressure the United States. We could very much do with... Well, to be honest, I think once we destroy Britain, that will spur the US to exist again. I mean, it might, I mean they might, when I say exist again, they exist now, but they might take... They might get Pennsylvania, maybe, which will be quite a significant um, uptick in both finance and economy. Agents here. Okay, you can go have a look at Cologne. See what's hiding behind the Dutch. So you, man, are going to advance to these strategic... Ooh. Advance to these strategic crossings. So we could well get raided by... 
the the um, Swedes, but we've got access to the Baltic Sea in a quite a secure manner, which is nice. Okay, you were reinforcements. So, can we leave the city? Minus two, minus two. Uh, in theory, no. But we can bring this army up to reinforce. I mean, it's more of a... Uh, it's more of a... Um, it's, a it's an army full of troops that can reinforce the, uh, the front line. Okay, so let's get Dresden fortified. I mean, the upper classes are really unhappy against, unhappy with us. Ah, we have a religious agent. Let's try and take out that priest. Missed him. Russia's raiding trade routes, which is fine. Damascus is getting close to 100% Catholicism. I think in each of these territories, I want to start beefing up the defences somewhat. Ever so slightly. Especially, I don't really need you dragoon, all of these dragoons here anymore. So let's get Flavio Buffon up toward the Russian front. So if we take Moscow, we can try and push out of it quite quickly. Okay, let's upgrade Matumi. Uh, you're starting to get a bit upset. Let's recruit two Dragoons. Workers aren't on strike in Brandenburg anymore. Ah, uh, yes. There we go, you men replenish. You men at Genoa replenish. Excellent. Repair the industri industry building. Let's repair the government buildings. Let's upgrade the roads. And upgrade the vineyards here to get a bit of a pop growth boost. Villages are not growing. Sadly, a large amount of troops have been recruited in Poland, but they're not going to Poland. Although they were going to you. Oh no, they were going to the army in Paris. In uh, Berlin, rather. Not Paris. Okay, let's, re let's resist upgrading our army for the time being. Let's instead try and boost our economy even more because we've, we're conquering quite a large amount of Central Europe. Our capacity to earn is going to be huge. Especially because we have a lot of taxes. We have a lot of, um, a lot of uh, tax income, I should say. And that should do for now. Obviously, we've got you, Gregory Chichin. Shelichev. Do we move on to Moscow? I think we might be able. If we get peace with Sweden. So, we're not overly bothered about attacking Sweden. Not yet. Sure, what the hell. So now, if we get Moscow, this this unit will teleport away. You recruit what you can. Don't get within range. Just lay siege to the city for now. Let's bring you up, Bruno. 
Let's swap out some of the weaker infantry units. Awesome. So you men replenish just to cover their backs. You're pushing up. Punish some more towards Archangelsk. It's kind of great anything. You've got 2,000. I mean, so I could attack them in the open. But what's very tempting to do is say, attack me in the city. Ah, oh, they intercepted me. Not that it makes much odds. Let's do this. It's an elite general, so we're going to want to try and kill him. He could have gone north to try and save Konigsberg, but he decided to march west and instead engage our forces and now we will destroy them put them to the sword kill them annihilate them all right let's let's get busy we're not really that bothered about destroying this army completely uh the, d the destruction of their faction will come swiftly Especially as Moscow will be their last major city. They might have one left. They don't have St. Petersburg because that's owned by Sweden. So they they intercepted us. So we're on the offensive. That's fine with me. So keep my line infantry out in the open field where they can mutually support each other. Let's put our elite infantry in the town. Keep my skirmishes out wide. Keep all my cavalry out wide. My infantry is coming in from a very bad position. Do something like this. With all the infantry I've got that can shoot, they have to anchor themselves like this. My howitzers need to limber up. Yes, here and sharpshooters push up to these trees, sharpshooters, ceasefire. Uh, reinforcement infantry, bottom square. Okay, let's bring our howitzers in a bit more of a protected position. The Curassier have charged our line, but they've lost nearly half their number before they even made it. And they're shattered, which is awesome. Infantry push forward rapidly. Uh, where are they? There they are. Yeah, we're going to deal with you well enough. Fusars might be the enemy general. Don't fire it well on, see if you can... No, don't. Just get them with my Curacier. Nobody else worry about the general. These Grenadier Guards are fancying their chances now. They could shoot them. They could do quite well there. Line of is wavering.
units are engaging the enemy Cossack cavalry. Put a volley into those hussars. Squares holding firm. Awesome. Enemy general is routing. Let's see if we can get him. towards the guns how it says and limber excellent You know, by shooting at them, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, see, that's a good idea. See, you've left, but there's another infantry unit coming in, my boy. First against the enemy line. Excellent. So you men just really you want to spread out as much as you can to maximize the muskets you can bring to bear and shoot the horse grenadier guards everybody else engage my damn enemy my whole line advance Horse grenade guards. You might have to advance closer than that. You men storm forward. Doing. Oh, you're killing a few more. Maybe bring the Swiss plates over on the flank. chased away the horse grenadier guards the u men threaten the enemy infantry position from the rear I 
Well, there's enemy general's bodyguard. But you came back. There we go. My artillery is all committed. Okay, they're starting to fall. Let's keep the. Okay, you guys storm in and attack. 67th. Rest of my line advance forward. Try to see if we can kill 33rd. Sars are forming square. Send the cavalry in. Run my my run my cavalry around the flank. Excellent. The enemy had dealt with here. Rapidly. Oh, bad luck. Go on, Swiss Grenadiers, charge the Hussars. Yikes. Line infantry coming back. Line full back. Blood ah, the light infantry have shown themselves. Swiss grenadiers maybe push into the centre of town. Okay, we should knock out the 42nd. Okay, you're in trouble. You're being engaged. We should clear out these hussars pretty rapidly. Excellent. Both of these units bayonet charge those blunderbuss shotgunners. Redeploy our line. Swiss Grenadiers putting volleys into the 56th Regiment. Advance up and take the ground. Blunderbuss shotgunners have drawn their swords. Okay, both my regular howitzers and regular foot artillery engage the 50th, and my howitzers engage the 6th. My heavy cavalry engage the 56th, just to make sure they definitely rout. Swiss grenadiers push up to this high ground. I bet if you're the 6th Regiment, this looks pretty awesome. Oh, quick line coming in, they're engaging enemy to the front. But then on their left, the Swiss Grenadiers. Yeah, they broke. Excellent. Keep the line pushing forward. Don't allow the enemy an opportunity to regroup. 
Thunderbus shotgun isn't doing okay. It's concerned because the general ran away. So they think they're doing okay, but here comes the thunder of the heavy cavalry. Storming in. They're not going to like this. Some of the infantry's come back. The Sikh regiment. Shaken, they're wavering. Yeah. Shattered. Sick regiment's being fired upon. Yeah, there they go. Quick climb, because they haven't got the range, killed all my loads of my line infantry guards. <laughs> nice. Still, that. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes to show. Beware quicklime. Keep it most of those is my quicklime at the end. There we go. We've killed them. The new men are going to have to... See if we can try and keep these guys experience level 2. We can. Great. Let's just top up. In attesa di ordine. Let's take this 78 strong unit. Okay, now we did water it down some. Something like that. Then let's just go into Reshov. It can go. So, yeah, we've got them covered. Although, to be honest, we are probably best served just taking this army out. And auto resolving. Just get rid of them. Avanti. Excellent. Although well, you guys can't do anything really. And this army march up towards the Polish frontier. Position preemptively for the next stage of the attack. You can go through the woods, so position here. Awesome. Keely Finzi, he's gained a few traits. Antonio Galvani, oh, you've gained a lot actually. Nice. Patriotic Sword, Steady Under Fire, Corporal and Gold Braid, Superior General. Awesome. They're all really good. Okay, right, let's hit end turn and see how the enemy reacts. First of all, did the, U the US capture anything else yet? No, sadly not. The Dutch are gaining foothold though. Hmm. Diplomacy. United States. We still can't give you any tech. Okay, let's hit in 10. See how the enemy reacts. I mean, Britain's going to be feeling a bit uncomfortable. Ultimately, once we knock out, if we take it out of the Dutch, all of their territories become pirate nations. And that, that leaves some pretty interesting options. The Poles are still not at war with us, so they feel no incentive to try and fight us. Uh, this is definitely not a 50-50. I believe Königsberg is now ours. We have another. We now we have a proper border with Sweden. They may declare war on us. Oh, no, they don't. Italian states are sending their agents into Protestant Prussia, which is good for us. Dagestan are moving their ships into the Med, which is a a bit suspicious, but not too terrible. Okay. Che cosa desiderate? You are going to preemptively go to St. Petersburg, I think. New port emerges. Odessa in, the, in Crimea. Or Ukraine. 
Okay, let's get some economy building. First of all, let's offer 10 grand turn to the US for the next. Uh, I can only offer it 20 turns. 10 grand every turn for 20 turns. See, they really like us now because of that. But if I can make the US a superpower, that'll be a really fun late game campaign, I think. Okay, first of all, let's make sure we're investing in our safer interior first. Especially as we can upgrade a lot of these farms to the last level. Okay, some of these armies you guys can replenish. Yep, yeah, get up to the frontier. Replenish as well. Okay. Let's turn you into a proper army. Something like this. Two skirmishes. Plus an elite nine infantry unit. I think that's a good option. So Russia. Yeah, Russia's real thin on the ground. Well, I'm going to make sure that we fortify Konigsberg. Upgrade the port. Let's recruit a light galley. Let's get these buildings in the territory rebuilt. Let's get the army reinforced. Awesome. Okay. Let's recruit another ship to garrison Odessa. Awesome, upgrade the roads. Okay, just in case we start beefing up our army. Let's upgrade the, let's upgrade the gunnery school in Poland. Okay, we've got a Jesuit school in Gdansk, so we don't need you here. You can start to try, although you probably need to head west. No, start to prepare the ground eastward. Okay, now let's... Okay, the agent's been... Okay, let's exempt the re this region from tax just to make sure they don't rebel. One of you can be a church. Oh, you're already building a church school. Awesome. Let's get a smiths. Upgrade this building. I mean, we've got a huge amount of things we can upgrade right now. So many things. Probably could do with reinforcing Tunis and building a great arsenal so we can build howitzers to boost the garrison at Tunis. We can reinforce them quite quickly, but I think it would be ideal to not have to do that. You can start paying for some of your upkeep now. Great. Three thousand three hundred. So let's just start upgrading buildings. Ah, oh yes, Ufa. You need a magistrate. That's correct. It's quite correct. Excellent. If we take Moscow, we're going to need to drive northwest quickly towards St. Petersburg so we can bottle up the Swedish army up here. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode, although I'm probably going to definitely want to spend the rest of my money. Okay, let's build you. We can't build the industrial building here. Well, I think we might have to keep it. 
Nope, there we go. Actually, maybe let's not build that. Let's repair the trading port first. But yeah, awesome. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Venice. Cheers, everyone.